What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in Plano, Texas at the Toyota headquarters for a very special media event called HQ Confidential. It's all about showcasing their new models, and I have one right next to me that I know you've been waiting for. This is the totally redesigned Toyota GR86. But before we get into this real-wheel drive light sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. It's now the second generation. It's been around since 2013. In other parts of the world, it was the 86. Here in the United States, it originally started off as the Scion FRS. Obviously, this has been that combo deal where Subaru and Toyota work together to produce this vehicle. And going into 2022, they're saying that they made the changes to really delineate the difference between Generation 1 and this all-new model. Now, it's going to come in two different trims, standard, and what I'm standing next to is premium. But what it's also going to come with is the choice of a six-speed automatic or, of course, my personal favorite, hashtag save the manuals, a six-speed manual transmission. Now, lots of different ways you could go to get that real-wheel drive performance, but if you're looking for that lightness, that real pure driving engagement, Toyota says that this is the car. So what I want to find out is, these are not available yet. They will be available late fall of this year. I want to find out at, you know, this price point, is it worth it? Is this sports car worth it? And also, is this a formidable option against the Subaru BRZ, or should you be going somewhere else for your sports car fun? Let's go ahead, dive into this 2022 GR86 and find out. Right off the bat, the styling. And one thing you'll notice is I said GR86. This is the first time that this is being called a GR86. I'll get to that in a second. Up front, you're gonna have a whole new headlight design. So really, really sleek. I love the shape, the way it's blacked out on the interior. You got LED daytime running lamps, those projector beam style headlights. And then guess what? As we go from the headlight down and slide to this lower section, we have that F word, get your mind out of the gutter, functionality. So you're gonna get a little bit of flat black, but you have this functional side air curtain. I like the way they really brought some elements of design. Didn't just make it flat really gives it an aggressive look but like i said my favorite f word functionality so we don't have to zonk that now as we lower even further you'll see how they took the bodywork and actually created a front lip splitter the way they kind of curved it down to give it that aerodynamic efficiency without sticking a bunch of stuff to the front of the gr86 now like i said those two late two letters first time you're seeing it on the 86 it stands for gazoo racing that is Toyota's motorsports arm that brought us victories at the coveted 24 Hours of Le Mans, World Rally Championships, and now it is on this vehicle. And they're saying that those designers and engineers have put that little something extra special that if you had an FRS or a previous generation Toyota 86, you're gonna notice a difference. Now, as we continue to slide in front of the 86, I really have fallen in love with this grill. I'll be honest, I always liked the Subaru BRZ grill more than the Toyota 86, but on this new generation, I love the shape of it. You have that functionality, nice grill design. You could see the extension at the front of the business and just how low. Already the first generation had a very low hood, but they extended the front fascia and brought these beautiful body lines with that Toyota badge looking really clean. Now, when we get up onto that hood, you'll notice how the body lines rise up. You got your peaked fenders. That's gonna give you that perfect visual reference point as you're going apex to apex around your favorite racetrack or your favorite twisty road. Now, as we come around the bend, loving all that aggressive look, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? So on the premium, you're gonna get these forged 18 inch wheels. Simple multi-spoke design, but I like that. It doesn't, it's not busy, flat black looking really good. Where I'm gonna have to zonk it is right here. It would have been nice to have on the premium, especially as some type of maybe performance package option, some Brembo calipers. I think some red Brembos not only would look good, but also increase that braking capability. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this tire? You're looking at 215 on the width and a very slim 40 series sidewall. And the great news, the even better news, is that they're wrapped in these Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. So you're gonna get the grip, but you're also gonna get some good usability at, out of this whole setup. Now. One other thing I wanna do is kinda of slide back to the front. You can see how very nice body line extends out and that's where that air is gonna be fed in and then sent down into the fender well. Speaking of the fender, I think one of my favorite touches 
besides the grill on the front is gonna be this side fender vent. It really reminds me of a side fender vent from an RCF tr like edition, track edition, or the standard RCF. The way it kind of extends out, you can see the full functionality there. And the way that they took the body line and just flowed it nicely right into the door, super clean. You're gonna get gloss black on your mirror caps. And I'm gonna stay down below because this side sill extends out perfectly. It's nothing stuck on. That's gonna help keep down the weight and really give us a beautiful look as we go towards the rear and it just sweeps it up right into that rear fender area. Now, one thing that's interesting is that the overall silhouette is very, very similar to the first gen. The side glass, your quarter window, you do have the rear seats, of course, but other than that, they're saying that this is a complete second generation. Coming towards the rear, another zonk that I'm gonna have to give it besides the brakes is that the rear tires are no wider than the front tires. So these are 215s. I guess if you're swapping them front to rear, that's gonna make it easy. But the bad news is it would be nice to have just a little bit more rubber to meet the road to give you the grip that you want on your favorite racetrack or your autocross event. Now, as we come around the rear, look at the way they did the aerodynamic add-ons to the rear fender. And then coming around the tail end of the business on the premium trim, you're gonna get this beautiful duckbill spoiler. I think this really sets it off. It really gives it that connection to the bigger brother, the GR Supra, and it just has a, such a sexy flow off the rear glass, scooping that air up and giving you the downforce. They kind of blacked out the rear taillights, extended it off, LED lighting looking good. And then as we come across, you're gonna have just a little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. And then look what we have here to finish it off. GR86 badge. And like I pointed out, this is the first time Gazoo Racing. And if you go standard, you're not gonna get this beautiful duckbill spoiler. This is only on the premium. Working our way down, rear diffuser. They changed it up, they made it more functional, looking good. And you're still gonna get that same single exhaust on each side, kind of balance it out with, like I said, limited slip differential torsion, limited slip diff. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our GR86. All right, guys, I didn't do a little switch o change -o on you. We actually do have a different GR86, but this one just happens to be unlocked. They have two on display. Wanted to start with that beautiful red one, but we have the hood popped underneath that hood. Some people are still disappointed not to see the addition of a turbocharger, but what are we talking about? Are there some major changes? You do have, of course, the standard prop rod, but we are trying to save weight with this light rear wheel drive car. So what are we looking at for 2022? We're looking at a 2.4 liter flat four, naturally aspirated. It's gonna be 228 horsepower, 184 pound-feet of torque. Like I mentioned earlier, you have your choice of six-speed manual or six-speed automatic. Zero to 60, Toyota is claiming if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes and shift that manual transmission, 6.1 seconds. Automatic is gonna be 6.6 .6 seconds. You have that torsion limited slip diff to get the power to the ground. And you're looking at 11.6 inch rotors up front. And the car overall is gonna weigh about 2,800 pounds. Now, obviously comparing this to the Subaru BRZ, Toyota is claiming, the GR engineers are claiming that there's gonna be a distinct personality between the two. We're gonna be bringing you, of course, the full driving that's set to come this summer. Also, another competitor would be the Toyota uh, Mazda Miata. With the Mazda Miata, obviously, going up against this Toyota, it is gonna have that nimbleness, but really, when it comes to everyday usability, there really is nothing that's gonna substitute the trunk space and that hard roof top. But why don't we go ahead, speaking of the interior, let's get in there and see what's new for 2022. guys we're inside this new 2022 gr86 i know you're asking yourself well joe there's a little bit more horsepower not a lot more but like i said toyota is claiming that that torque dip is gone you're going to have nice linear torque delivery i know you're probably wanting to find out what's price premium this is a premium trim remember starting price is going to be thirty-one thousand dollars. 
Let's see, when you compare it to the BRZ and the other competition, what you're getting for the money to the door panels. Now, you are getting some wonderful Alcantara microfiber suede material up top. Love what they did with the armrest with the contrast stitching. And you're going to get, of course, a super small door pocket, maybe a bottle of water, maybe two Pop-Tarts. That's about it. Now, when you get to the dash, all new dash design, soft touch material, still very, very far away from the passenger to kind of free up some space. And then here is our all new infotainment system. On the premium, you're getting this eight inch system. I like the way it's integrated nicely into the center stack rather than it being an iPad style screen or just a stuck on screen. But of course, you're gonna get your full touch screen capability, which is really nice. You work your way down. They took that GR badge on the start stop button, a little bit of silver trim. You got your dual climate controls, which is wonderful. Still those toggle switches, but they modified it in a new way to where it really stands out. No little cubby here though for any kind of Twinkies. So that's gonna be a little bit of a zonk, no cubby up front. Another zonk is this particular one has the automatic. I wish they had the manual that was unlocked, but at least you get to see the six speed automatic has been totally reworked from the first generation. Just a little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. Some silver there uh, to add a little bit of extra color there. You're gonna be able to shove your traction control. You got sport and snow mode, and of course track mode just like before. Standard e-brake, I like to see that with the stitch work. Another cup holder here. You're also on the premium, gonna get heated seats just like before. Here is your key fob. What does it look like? Say it, a Subaru key fob, but they added the Toyota badge there. Nice key fob, just would have been interesting for it to say GR. They're really pushing that GR, so I am gonna zonk that. Armrest is on the soft side, and it's nice to have a physical armrest. The way it's built in, watch this. Bombs away, two cup holders, USBs, and an aux jack. So they got you connected there, and then the seats are amazing. Alcantara, look at the perforated area, the leather, the bolstering. Nicely done, manual assist for the passenger and the driver, because remember, we're trying to cut weight. And just like before, you got plenty of headroom to get that helmet on and do the track day. And we have those very, very small rear seats, not big enough for a Joe Rady from Rady's Rise to fit back there, but that's not the point. You fold them down, you can easily put a bunch of goodies for your next autocross event back there to make you come home a winner. But why don't you come over here to the business end, where you're gonna be doing the business to win those trophies behind the wheel of this GR86. Right, guys, business time. I know this is where you wanna be. This is where I normally would wanna be if there was a six-speed manual, but I'm still liking it. Love the silver trim here. A Little bit of that nice perforated material. There's your manual seat controls. Foot box, you do have aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle, which is nice to see. Seats feel great. I'm six feet tall. I feel like a race car bug snug in a rug. I mean, that's how I feel right now. I'm ready to put a helmet on. Steering wheel, nice leather, the contrast stitching, the GR badge, and then flat black on the buttons. You do have paddles to go up and down the six-speed automatic. And then guess what? 2022, what do we got? That beautiful digital display. Love the way the tack is right there in the center with your digital speedometer. And then of course, you could scroll through a tiny cornucopia tiny cornucopia of information there. Plus you got your gauge readout and there's some Alcantara up top on top of the hood here just to give it that extra connection with the seats. But I feel really great. Like I said, stay tuned because we are going to be doing a full driving review, but it's about that time. Wow, <laughs> nice. Great handling. Ken's doing the business. A lot of changes in the steering like you mentioned. I'm noticing no torque dip. No, not at all. Nice. Really nice. <laughs> you can just point and shoot. Wow, the car, I'm telling you, so balanced. It really is. And they really stay true to the driver's car. Really, really and nice. The DNA and soul of a really high performance track machine. I love the sound. They really did a great job with that. Yeah, it's got a higher pitch exhaust note. Now. For sure. Ken's doing a great job around Eagles Canyon Raceway. A little bit of trail braking. Nice. Yeah, you're able to pivot it just so perfect. A lot of subtle small changes everywhere. Everything's equal to the big picture. Right. But big gains. Nice. 
<laughs> Ken knows how to go on throttle, that's for sure. A little bit of steering at Ooh, yeah. I can't believe how it pulls. It really pulls through the rev really range. Does, yeah. Nice. really allows it to showcase what the car is capable of balance wise oh, for yeah. sure <laughs> this is awesome being driven by Ken the drift god <laughs> and if this is where the torque really shines going on a up just pulling you up pulling you up to downshift just yeah here. That was awesome. Very, very nice, the work that Toyota has done. If you think that this is the same 86 as the first gen, I'm telling you right now, just from one lap with Ken, it definitely is not. And we are gonna be having an upcoming media event. Thank you so much, Ken, for being here on Rady's Rides with us. Hey, and it's my pleasure. We, we appreciate you and all the awesome work that you have done over the years and continue, and hopefully soon, We'll see in the new 86, maybe yes, drifting sir. at the next big competition. Crossing my fingers. That's right. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. It's been one of those special experiences to be here at the Toyota headquarters for this special event. Definitely being able to finally see the GR86 in person was worth the experience. I want to thank Zach and the whole team here at Toyota and Lexus for getting these things all together. Is it worth the price? that's going to be for you to determine we're going to be bringing that driving review is this something to go up and have that more you know unique personality compared to the brz that's another thing that we're going to find out together but definitely some wonderful changes brought to this car if you want to keep seeing these unveils where we're invited and you're invited too leave a comment in the comment section if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radies rides family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you two ways to do it click the first link become a radies rise patreon member click the second link get yourself some radies rise merch got to give it up to the queen of the camera she's getting this gr86 she wants to get her racing helmet on and drive this on the track we're going to make that happen for you lori Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.